right, guys, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. And we are on a roll of in-stock knives, at least at the time I'm recording them. Uh, now, this is the Knives Fast channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you're new, definitely stick around and like and comment on this video, guys. Uh, this is the Axial Gear Alpine sent to me by Lefty EDC, and this is freaking cool. Now, this is the USA-made version. I'm going to do more of an overview today because I've reviewed the Alpine design before, but it was their Chinese-made version, and this one's gone way more pizzazzy, and it's now made in the USA. Pizzazzy, is that a word? Uh, check out Axial. I'll leave a link down below. Really cool folks. They sent this to Kevin for the Pass Around group, so definitely thank you to them. All right, we're going to move some stuff to aid with the focus. So, uh, this is the Axial Alpine. There is your Ulti clip and a really cool sheath. Uh, really works well in the pocket or on the belt or whatever you want to do. You could drop it in the pocket. It's a little bigger. Uh, it does come with a lanyard and a bead, but you can take that off if you'd like. I think Kevin said when it comes back around to him, he will. You got a nice ramp to sort of push it off. Now, uh, there are a lot of options. So I noticed... Uh, when you click on their site, you've got uh, Drop Point Stonewash, Tanto Stonewash, Warncliffe Stonewash. Uh, you've got um, uh, Micarta, which is full Micarta. Uh, you've got Titanium like this, and you've got Titanium with a bronze anno. This is Stonewash, by the way. And then you can do a, an inlay or not an inlay. So the pricing's all over the place. You need to go look. Uh, they are low on stock on this particular one. So let's talk about uh, what we're looking at here. You've got a full tang uh, knife. Now, I almost forgot to look at the steel here. Uh, we're going to do that real quick because I don't want to get too far down the road and you guys go, hey, uh, why aren't you telling us that? So uh, the steel is in Magna Cut. That's what I thought. Made in the USA. Um, and again, uh, it has this, what they call MagFlex system on the scales here, on the inlays that we'll talk about. Now, those these are real coarse micarta scales. Uh, you can see uh, you actually have a titanium scale. It is flat. It is chamfered off. Um, you have this great, almost full flat ground with a swedge here. Uh, you got your Axial logo there with the USA flag right there nice tall flat grind four finger knife for me uh definitely nice some texturing back here on the spine uh can't really feel it that great though to be honest with you um but yeah this thing is great and you end up with a guard so for my friends out there like andrew hobbard you got a guard man very cool now you do have a nice sharpening choil that works really well um and heck let's get the cutting uh, done right up front here. It's definitely going to be good. I know it for a fact because I've already cut with it. Uh, but you can see here, very thin, very nice and slicey in that Magna Cut. Not sure what their HRC is, but we'll see if it's on the website. And yeah, while I'm talking, I'm just going to annihilate this whole piece of cardboard. And I just had a cramp in my hand. That was really nice. Um, so really good. This is my like sixth review of the day. So uh, bear with me, guys. Uh, we are motoring through some knives today, trying to get them out. Uh, because these are available, I want to get them out to more reviewers uh, so that you guys can see more opinions of them. Nice, tall. Now, here's what's so cool about this knife, okay? Uh, now, you've got right here uh, this little tool, all right? And you unscrew it, all right, right here. And you got like a pick. It looks like, like a little dental pick. That's what it looks like. Uh, and it does, I tell you one thing, the, the pick has, the handle just screws on, and then you also have to unscrew it from the cover. So it does come unscrewed, not, not the greatest there. Now, uh, all you do is just sort of get it in the right orientation. This first part is not super easy uh, for me, at least. Let me do it. I don't want to do it off camera. I want to do it on camera, but it's just very hard to do on camera. I will tell you. There we go. Ah, I had it. Um, so this first part, because of the magnets, all right. See, doing it on camera, I did this earlier with no problem. Um, and I have no fingernails, 
So that's what the issue, there you go. I just had to get to where I could pick it out of there. Now, once you get the first one out, it's super easy. You just push the second one out and you have no inlays anymore, okay? See, they're magnetic. Uh, now, I have two other options here. Uh, so they sell either black micarta, they sell three different versions of um, uh, fat carbon. And in this case, we're gonna put uh, the green, uh, toxic green, toxic, uh-oh. All right, let me look at what they're actually called, uh, but they're beautiful, you can tell. Uh, so you have, here. here's all of the inlays, okay? G10 black, which is I think what this guy is, black G10, with a texture, which is really cool. Um, you have micarta OD green, you have fat carbon nebula, fat carbon lava, lava flow, fat carbon black dunes, and fat carbon jungle wear. That's what it is. Um, and so really, really cool idea. Again, off camera, I'm telling you, it's not that big of a deal uh, to pop it. You see, I pop it up plenty high, but then what I'm doing right now is I'm behind the camera and I can't get my freaking hand around there. So, um, because I'm at an angle here, but trust me, it works. It's just, I'm fumble fingers and don't worry about it. But you saw I got it done and putting them back on is really, really easy. So what a great idea. Uh, just a fantastic idea. And you can see size-wise there uh, what we're dealing with. I got out the uh, Tempest Knives designed uh, Dust Devil to compare size-wise. You can see lengthwise we're very similar. This guy's quite a bit taller. Uh, and the handle's going to be thicker on the axial uh, just simply because, um, yeah, you got, you know, it's titanium scales rather than just an onlay uh, like the uh, Dust Devil has. Um, regular comparisons, here is your Rat 1, which is going to be quite bigger, and your Rat 2, uh, which is going to be about, low, still a little bit bigger, tiny bit bigger, okay? Uh, so there are all your comparisons. Now let's talk through some spec Aroonies. Now, by the way, as you see it right here, this is $329. If you want to go to just the plain G10 model, wait, I'm still at the inlay. Hold on. Give me a minute. Um, none, uh, 229. So if you just get G10, uh, with a drop point stone wash, that's what it is. Micarta brings you up to 239. Titanium uh, brings you up to 289. And then adding an inlay uh, brings you up to 329. So there are your options. Now, the blade length is 6. Point, I mean, the total length is 6.88. The blade length is 3.2. Blade thickness is just 0 0.10. And you have a great swedge. It gets very thin towards the tip. So really good for EDC. Um, Magnicut, of course. Um, flat grind, stone wash. Um, they do have it in a DLC as well. Handle length 3.68, four fingers just for me, right at four fingers, but it feels nice and and look at this, angled like that, and no jimping, so it feels fine. Uh, weight uh, with the titanium and the inlay is 3.55, which is fine. Uh, Kydex sheath and all that is great. And again, these are available in all the different forms right now, but they are getting low in stock. So by the time you see this, it may be different. So dang, that was a lot to fit into. We're, we're still under nine minutes right this minute, but um, a lot to fit in. Really cool knife. Again, I'm telling you, it's not that hard with the tool to get the scales out. So please don't base it on me. I'm a fumble fingers and I'm behind a stupid camera here. So uh, that's the problem, but really cool. So guys, this is the Knives Fast channel. Uh, definitely like and comment down below and let me know what you think. Subscribe, hit that notification bell. And uh, dang, I really like this. So thank you so much, Kevin and Axial for sending it my way. And thanks for watching the Knives Fast channel.